Hey guys, this is Maria from Candida's Nutrition Team, and today's customer question is, can nutritional yeast contribute to Candida? There are many types of yeast. Some are edible, like baker's yeast, brewer yeast, and nutritional yeast. Other types of yeast are inedible, like Candida albicans, the fungus that causes yeast infections. An overgrowth results in an infection called Candidiasis. So is eating a form of yeast while you have Candida safe? The answer is it depends. Certain yeast like brewer yeast and baker yeast are usually light forms of yeast, which can contribute to yeast overgrowth in the gut. They are also found in foods to avoid, such as beer and big products, which will feed candida. Nutritional yeast, on the other hand, is an inactive form of yeast, meaning it won't feed candida. Nutritional yeast is extremely nutritious and has many health benefits. It's a complete source of protein, with all nine essential amino acids. It protects the heart since it has a type of fiber called beta-glucan which has been shown to reduce cholesterol levels. Nutritional yeast can also help regulate blood sugar levels, as it's a low glycemic food. Plus, it contains chromium, a mineral that can also help regulate blood sugar. Nutritional yeast is very high in B vitamins like biotin and B12, which are great allies in fighting candida. If you have chronic candida, you might have developed an intolerance or allergy to all yeast in which case nutritional yeast might trigger flare-ups and should be limited or avoided. We hope this answers your question. If you want to contact us for more information, please email us at support at and we will get back to you. At Cancida, your health is important to us.